come here with linebacker Akil Anderson and quarterback Sean Goldridge. Uh, Sean, we'll begin with you. Once again in the playoffs last year for the 11th straight season, finished ranked number one at the end of the regular season, got the number one seed going into the playoffs. A lot of accomplishments for this team last year. What made it so special? A couple of those home games were just unbelievable. You know, seeing you know what our fans did coming out. You know, night games and stuff. You know, having them going nuts. You know, chalk toss and stuff like that. It was a great environment. You know, normally we're used to having some long trips. You know, getting off a plane and having to go to a place somewhere we never really heard of. But you know, last year it was great. We had a chance to play at home in front of our home crowd, and you know, we were fortunate enough to make it that far. Yeah. And now as we flip the script to 2015 offensively. You lose two key weapons on offense, running back Nico Storetti, wide receiver R.J. Harris. Uh, you know, who are some of the guys you're looking to see step up and fill those big roles? Uh, well, starting with the running back position, it'll be nice to have Dalton Crossing back in the mix. You know, he's fight, fighting off some injuries the last couple of years, but, you know, he, he's got some wheels on him. He, he can play some ball when you get him out there. So mm -hmm. look for him in the running back spot. But also with that, we got our, our man Aaron Lewis Canales. Um, he, he's a young guy playing behind R.J. the last couple of years. He's going to have a chance to start for us at the X position. So you'll see him run around a little bit. He's got a lot of potential as well. Now, quarterbacks, you know, they're always usually looked at as leaders of the team, even though you had some senior leadership last year in Nico and in RJ. How has your role changed this offseason, knowing that you're the senior now and the quarterback? Well, you know, as a senior in general, you got to be that guy they can look up to, you know, give the, uh, be the guy to motivate them, get them going. So that's just the role I'm going to take. You know, I've been there. I've, I've been able to play in some games. i fortunate to go through this run with these guys. So I'll motivate and let them know, you know, what we're doing is possible. You know, we have the potential to make that run, take that next step to go to the final. So, you know, that's going to be our goal this year. And we're just going to try to break it down one game at a time. Hope. Of course, you know, there's a lot of renovations going on at uh, your stadium up there in New Hampshire. Mm -hmm. uh, last year you got to play under the lights for the first time there. What was that like? Oh, it's unreal. Unreal feeling. You know, definitely a little switch up. We got to sleep in a little later, you know. Definitely a different crowd. You know, got some more of the, uh, the, the uh, student section, you know, was kind of rocking that game. So it was a good time. You know, overall, I think the, the construction and stuff is definitely something we needed in the program, and it's fun to be a part of. Now, talk about sleeping in later. You guys have a long flight out to the West Coast to open the season against San Jose State. I'm sure there'll be a lot of sleeping going on on that plane ride. Yeah. Uh, how excited are you guys to, one, go to that part of the country and, of course, to open up against FBS opponent? Well, that's definitely, you know, a big trip for us, big game. But, I mean, if we're going to be heading out that far west, I think California is the state we want to go to. So mm -hmm. that's going to be an awesome feeling. You know, San Jose, you know, we know they're going to be a tough team for us. But, you know, it's, it's good to get that one under the belt, you know, right to start the season. So we're excited for that. We, you know, we think we got a good chance with this one. All right, Sean, good to see you. Good luck this season. Thank you. Akil, last year you guys were the, went undefeated through the conference, 2014 CA football champions. What does it say about last year's team? you know, not just to go undefeated in the conference, but to win the conference title in a league like this? Well, it says a lot about this team, you know, and the senior leadership that we had, like we mentioned before, you know, those are great guys, you know, we've been playing with them for so long, you know, and for us to finally, you know, put it all together, you know, and, you know, we swept the uh, CAA, you know, and we finally got some rings, you know, and that was, that was great, you know, and that team, we really did come together. You know, the motto was, you know, to play as one, you know, and I think we really did that more than we had years before, you know, and I think it showed. Well, you do lose some starters from last year on defense, especially on that defensive line. Who are yeah. some of the guys you're looking to see step up on this New Hampshire defense this um, year? First of all, I think Cam Shore, he's had a great off season and he's actually had a great past two, you mm -hmm. know, off seasons, you know, and he's got a lot bigger and athletic and he, he knows what he's doing a lot more and I'm, you know, and he's uh, he's not that younger guy, but you know, mm -hmm. he's always had experience. You know, and it's time for him to kind of you just break out and just do what he does. And another guy's a young guy, J. Juan Horton. He's uh he's filled out, you know, mm -hmm. and he's going to be solidifying that defensive line at the DN spot. And he's had a, he's got a great motor, you know, work ethic and everything, you know. And I feel like he could be a real good a good piece in this defense. It should be exciting to see some of those new faces on the New Hampshire defense. You know, last question for you, Akil. You guys look to make it 12 straight seasons to the playoffs. What will the New Hampshire Wildcats have to do this year to get back to the playoffs? Well, we just got to we got to take everything one step at a time, you know, and that's kind of one of the biggest things that we preach around here, you know, one practice at a time, one play at a time, you know, and get it just give it your all for, you know, that one go, you know, and I feel like if we do that, you know, it's going to be it's going to be hard to beat us. Akil, Sean, good luck this season. We look forward to seeing the New Hampshire Wildcats once again. Thank you. Thank you.